Paul Workman is standing by in Lviv, Ukraine. And Paul, tell us a little bit about how people are coping with, you know, going to bomb shelters, some fleeing Ukraine altogether. They're going to be going into the bomb shelters again tonight. I think that's pretty obvious, at least in the capital city. We know and we've been told that uh, Russian ground forces were a number of kilometers, not very far away from the center of uh, Kyiv, and that they were moving forward both from the north and from the, e from the east. So, and I am hearing as well that uh, the United States, the White House has been warned that uh, the capital could fall very quickly. You know, how long can the Ukrainian army withstand that, uh, that assault from the Russians who, if they're moving towards, towards the center, towards the parliament buildings? It seems very clear that Russia wants to take over the levers of government, assume control of the government, put in perhaps their own puppet leaders, um, if, if that's possible. The president of Ukraine is still in the country. He said this morning he was not going to leave. Um, as he called on people to take up arms, to use Molotov cocktails if they need to, to fight the Russian onslaught, uh, onslaught here. And that's the state of affairs. The next few hours, I think the next 48 hours are going to be very critical. And as I say, Russian forces closing in on the capital makes it a very serious moment. And give me a sense of the resolve, the strength of the resolve of, of the Ukrainian people. I mean, we certainly heard from the, the past president. We've heard from Zelensky, and as you mentioned, telling people to sure. take up arms. And people are. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh, I think people are quite serious about the fate of their country and wanting to do something. And certainly younger men, I believe, are volunteering in large numbers and want to fight. You hear it time and time again when you ask people, are you willing to do it? And they all want to, you know, they all want to get out there and kill the invader, kill Russians who are coming towards them. Do they have the strength to, to do that? Do they have the power? Do they have the arms? The country said today it's given out about 20,000 light weapons. That doesn't stop a tank. Uh, and so no matter how enthusiastic you are, no matter how courageous you may be, it may frankly be useless against the kind of weapons they're now facing. And what can you tell us about word today that there could be negotiations between Russia and Ukraine um, negotiated by Putin himself? Uh, yeah. Well, it's confusing and it may not be extremely serious. Putin made a statement this afternoon calling on the leaders of the Ukrainian army to lay down their weapons and to come and negotiate with him. He said, look, you'll get a much better deal out of me than you would with those drug addicts and neo-Nazis now who are running the country. That doesn't sound like a serious offer from the uh, leader of Russia. The president here has offered and talked about you know, accepting that his country would be neutral, would be not aligned. In other words, give up its desire to become a part of a NATO. Um, Russia seemed interested in that. Putin seemed interested. But he's not really open to negotiations. He wants capitulation. I think that's exactly what he wants. He wants the government here to surrender. Okay, CTV's Paul Workman in Yiv, thank you very much.